In this video, you're going to discover how to create free bets when you're trading tennis on Betfair. As you may know, creating free bets is one of the most exciting ways to trade any sport, and it can be especially fun in tennis trading once you know how to do it. And by the end of this video, you're actually going to know three different ways to do that, and you'll probably be very excited to try this out for yourself. Go grab a nice cold beer or a Pims and lemonade, and let's get into it. So I'm just going to dive straight into it and kind of show you the three main ways of creating free bets when you're trading tennis. Okay, so here's the free bet back to lay. That means you're going to back a player, wait for the odds to shorten, then lay them with the same stake in order to create that free bet. And then the opposite way, okay? So you're going to lay a player, wait for the odds to lengthen and move in, your di in the direction you want. And then you're going to back them with the same stake. And then there is the free bet flip, okay? And I'm going to show you all of these later on in the video with some real life examples I did on the actual Betfair exchange because that is the easiest way for you guys to learn and understand. However, there might be a question from some of you wondering, well, hold on, why take the free bet when we can just cash out, okay? Why not just lock in the profit over both outcomes and then get on with our lives rather than leaving it as a free bet? Because when it's a free bet, we still need that player to win for us to profit. But if we cash out, we guarantee the profit. Well, the main reason is because if you create a free bet, then your potential profit is a lot higher than if you were to take in a guaranteed cash out, okay? And that is something to definitely uh, look, look at closer when you are in these situations. But it does kind of lead me on to what is my number one tip with regards to creating free bets in tennis, especially which is a two-way market compared to something like uh, football, okay? Slightly different market, slightly different sport to trade. And so my number one bet is that, my one, sorry, my number one tip is that you want to let those free bets run for as long as possible, okay, instead of cashing out. So if you want to create a free bet on, say, the favorite, then keep in mind they are the favorite. So just let the free bet run and only ever cash it out and then take the profit if that player loses a set. In tennis, it can be very easy to panic if, say, you, you've got a, a player who, who you've got some profit on or you've backed and maybe they drop a break a serve or something like that and the prices start to move in, in a different direction. But remember, the match can't be over until someone has won a set. Okay, so you're better off just hanging in there. Okay, create the free bet and let it run. Most of the time, your free bet is going to be on the favorite. So just let it run. If that player does lose a set at any point, then you take the money, okay? The markets are very slow moving in that aspect, okay? You've still got the chance of taking some money later on. But most of the time, if you've got that profit sitting on a favorite, well, you may as well just leave it on the favorite because they're probably gonna go on and win. That's why they are the favorite. But anyway, I'm gonna dive into some real life examples now to show you exactly how we do this on the tennis markets and then you should understand this a lot better. But before we do that, if you could, it would be really great if you could smash the like button to help support the channel. If you like this sort of content, it only takes a quick press of the like button to show your support and help us to keep going, okay? So press the like button, then go grab another cold beer, and let's check out these real life examples of creating free bets in the tennis markets. So we got involved in this one, Hugo Umba against Milos Reinic. We backed Milos Reinic here at 1.54, and we're just gonna look for him to get that first breaker serve, and then we're gonna create a free bet, okay? So it's gonna be a back to lay to create a free bet. So it's currently 1-1. We're just looking for Ryanich to apply the pressure, get the breaker serve, and then we'll be out of the market, okay? But we're in with a 100 pound stake, backing him at 1.54. Well, blink and then you might miss it, okay? I <laughs> just took my eye off the game for one second and Ryanich has scored the break point. Uh, we, we were looking for his converter break point. So his odds have gone into 1.22, 1.23 to lay, and that's where we're gonna lay him now, okay? So remember, we backed him with a 100 pound stake and at 1.54, he scored the first breaker serve. He's gone into 1.23. So we just lay with a 100 pound stake. And now we've got a free bet sitting on Ryanich of 31 pounds. Okay, we could cash it out for 25 pounds, but the free bet has a, a little bit more value to it. Okay, so we, and we are better off letting 
this free bet run while Ryanich's odds are so low. I mean, the great thing about tennis is that if Ryanich is going to drift or his odds are going to start to go out and Humba is going to get back in the match, we're going to get good warning of it, okay? So we don't have to immediately rush and take the cash out, okay? Ryanich has to concede a, a break of serve and then maybe uh, the underdog has to go on and win the set for this price to drift dramatically on on a uh, on Ryanich okay so it's not like football where a goal can just fly in from nowhere and then the odds completely swing in the opposite direction we can be pretty calm and just stick with the free bet on Ryanich and just leave it on him I mean if he carries on to win this first set and is pretty dominant then with this odds these odds shouldn't drift that much higher okay so anyway um we, we secured it. We secured the free bet on Ryanich, uh, 31 pounds, and that is that. So we've got this match here from the Miami Open. It is a women's match between Conjor and Swiatek. Swiatek, the favorite, 1.17, and it's a pretty short price, okay? Now, she may well win. However, as we know, and the whole point of tennis trading is that in between, these prices can bounce all over the place, and that is uh, especially prevalent in women's tennis so the idea for us is that if we want to create a, a free bet on that favorite is that we're going to lay her at the start at 1.17 as we have done and we're going to look for some of those early price swings okay and we're going to look for that price to go higher then we lock in a free bet okay um just to sit just to show you what we've done we've laid with a 500 pound stake so we've got 500 pound profit potential sitting on the underdog 85 pound of risk on the favorite at the moment but do remember, we are trading, so £85 is not going to be fully at risk, okay? Especially since tennis is not like football, where she could just storm out and get a 3-0 lead or something early on. Um, doesn't quite work like that in tennis. We can easily get out and uh, salvage much of that risk if it starts to go against us, okay? So I just want to make that clear. But anyway, this match is just about to begin, and uh, let's see what happens when we get in play. And as you can see, so uh, Konya's got the early break, which is very, very common in women's tennis. The underdog has scored uh, the early break point. So um, we're just going to create the, the free bet. So just going to back her at one point. See if we can get matched to 1.35, or which is going to go up to 1.37. Oh, actually, no, every tick counts. That's why you've got to be really quick in tennis trading. We could have got matched to 1.37 if I was a bit faster. But anyway, uh, now, now you can see we've got... Uh, 91 pound of free bet sitting on the favorite we could cash it out for 66 pounds however it's important to keep in mind she's still a very short priced favorite okay she's still 1.37 um so still a very high probability she's going to go on and win this match so what you would do is you just stick with it and if her price goes maybe up to evens then you green it out okay then you just try and lock in the profit on both sides but as it stands you're better off just leaving that free bet on the favorite and seeing if they can get back into it there's not no real rush to to cash out in these instances okay and just to stress it again uh, tennis is not like football it's not like this favorite can suddenly score two more break points uh in this first set and then suddenly she goes to 1.01 .01. it won't happen it, there's a there's a kind of a an invisible wall which will block how high her price can go within that first set, okay? And it's, it's not too far from it after the first break point. So yeah, there you have it. A nice little free bet created, uh, very, very stress-free. And this can happen very, very often at the start of uh, women's matches. And just to illustrate what I mean, immediately after that game, Swiatek scored or converted a break point of her own and got right back into the match at 1.2. So this kind of... Uh, illustrates exactly what I mean with, with regards to these early wobbles, these early break points. They're not really significant in the grand scheme of the match. However, for tennis traders, they are uh, some great opportunities. Okay, so you can yeah. definitely find a lot of these slow starts. And it is very low risk. I mean, you saw in that particular instance, it was a very short price lay, the whole match to go. And you, you, you wouldn't stay in that beyond the first set anyway, so you can get out. Um, if needed as well. So anyway, uh, we're just going to move on with this one. Let's uh, check out another example. 
But before we check out another example, I want to get your comments and your feedback. Does this look like something you want to try? Does this look easy to you? Have you had much success with tennis trading yourself? And is there any specific video subjects that you'd like to see more of on this channel? Let us know in the comments section. We check out all the comments, so just leave your feedback below and we try and reply to all the comments in the first few days after the video is released, okay? And if you didn't do it before, maybe you wanna do it now, click the like button to support the channel. Now let me show you the free bet flip. So we've got this match just about to start, Von Drusova against Sabalenka. So we backed Sabalenka at 1.44. It's just about to start, the price is already moving against us to 1.48, which is always annoying. However, anyway, what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and see if Sabalenka can get the first breaker serve, we can lock in a free bet and then do something a little bit different. Okay, so this match is just about to start. As you can see, that last match has just finished. We're now waiting for these uh, ladies to take the court and then we are gonna be underway. So I'll give you a, an update once we're actually in play and there's a significant price move. Okay, so you can see we've got the early break now going to Sabalenka. So let's close out the trade by laying Sabalenka at uh, 1.25. Okay, so now we've got that £19 free bet on Sabalenka. However, what we can do is we can flip it. Now let's back Vondrusova with that same £19. And what, what that does is it now puts the free bet on the underdog, okay? So instead of having 19 pound free bet on Sabalenka, we've now got a 77 pound free bet on Von Drusova, okay? And you might be thinking, well, why would we want to put a free bet on the underdog? And well, the thing with tennis trading, especially women's, tra women's uh, tennis, is that it is very, very unpredictable. And I get a lot of people saying, well, I can't trade women's tennis, it's too unpredictable. Well. That's kind of the point. <laughs> what you will often see is you'll see players uh, like Sabalenka take an early lead, trade low, but then the underdog gets back into it. Not to say the underdog is going to win, but the underdog can get back into it, and then we could uh, maybe green up some of that free bet or do something else, okay? But the whole point of this video anyway was just to show you the different ways you can create the free bets, okay? What you then do with a free bet later on is a, is a whole video for another day. So anyway, uh, you've seen them all now, the free bets, and this is the free bet flip, okay? We pretty much created the free bet from the price movement on Sabalenka, and I'll just show you the chart as well to illustrate. So we did that, and now we've just decided to flip it around and take a free bet on Von Drusova. There's still a lot of time to go in this first set, so she could easily get back into it in this first set as well, not necessarily in the second set. So anyway, I, sh I, sh I showed you them all, and that is about that. So I hope you've enjoyed checking those out and I strongly urge you to give it a go. Tennis trading can be very low risk if you approach it correctly. And for me, it's the most enjoyable sport to trade of all. And on the screen now is a bit of information about the program Ultimate Tennis Trading as I am getting emails about this several times a day at the moment and they are just increasing in volume as the days go on. And the main reason for that is because at the time of recording this video, it has actually been over a year since we opened this course to the public due to many reasons beyond our control, as you can probably imagine. But Tennis Trading is now back and it is booming with loads of money flying around in those markets and there is strong interest in it again. And so we're hoping to open the course again very soon. So if you do want to learn tennis trading, then this is the course you need and you can get on the waiting list by clicking the link in the description of this video. Okay, so just scroll down, check out the description. I'll put the link up near the top so it's easy to find and put in your very best email address. And then you'll be the first to know when the doors open once again. And do keep in mind that this course was designed specifically for people who have no clue about tennis, about the sport of tennis. And you will learn the main thing is how to trade a tennis match from start to finish, even if you know nothing about tennis. Because you could argue that I trade a lot of tennis and I still don't know much about tennis. I still couldn't name a lot of the, a lot of the players apart from the, the, the really famous ones. And you don't really need to know because it is all in the numbers. And you're also going to learn how to do the pre-match research to pick out your own trades. And it only takes 30 seconds. Again, it's all in the numbers. Similarly to how to read a tennis match. 
it's not really about the uh, the emotions or anything like that. It's all in the numbers, okay? And then you're gonna get three low risk strategies and then two advanced strategies. So altogether you get five strategies and that is one for each set. And that doesn't mean you have to trade the whole match. You could just pick whichever strategy you like the look of and just trade that single set and then move on and be done for the day, okay? But there's a lot in the package and there are some other great bonuses as well which aren't mentioned on the page today but that is enough information for now if you are interested and you want to learn how to trade tennis in more detail then just click the link in the description get your email in on the waiting list and you will be the first to know once we do finally reopen those doors once again but anyway Thank you for watching. If you haven't done so already, do hit the subscribe button if you do like all this content. And if you want to keep watching, there are two videos on the screen right now that are worth watching. Okay, so click on one of those videos and I will see you in the next video.